It is Wellness Wednesday and today we are talking about shoulder issues. In the sponsored segment, we welcome to the show Dr. Ashraf Albana, an orthopedic surgeon at Memorial Healthcare Center for Orthopedics to talk about this common problem that many people face. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yes, good to see you. You know, so first off, you know, what are some conditions that are associated with shoulder pain? So a lot of it will depend on the age of the patient that we're seeing. In our younger patients, we oftentimes see issues with instability, where maybe the ball isn't staying positioned within the socket, or we'll see overuse injuries of the muscles or the tendons. In patients who are over the age of 40, more, some of the more common issues that we'll see are related to the rotator cuff or potentially arthritis. So uh, you said generally people over 40, but really it can impact people of all ages. Absolutely. Shoulder pathology can strike all ages depending on the condition. And with that said, you know, what are some of those signs then that someone should be looking out for to see an orthopedic provider? Well, if you suffer an acute injury, you were playing sports or you were lifting something heavy and you suffer severe pain that's just not going away after a few days of rest and anti-inflammatories, that would be a good indication to come in and get evaluated. Well, and talk a little bit more about what can contribute to shoulder issues. I mean, you talk about an injury, but can doing something over time also impact your shoulder? Absolutely, some of the more uh, Frequent conditions that we see are related to just wear and tear that accumulates over the years. So in order to prevent that, you can you know, stretch beforehand, you can do exercise routines to help strengthen the rotator cuff muscles to minimize the risk of those more longer term injuries. Well, and say we get to the point where you do need to seek uh, treatment options, what are those? They can vary. A lot of times we'll start out with conservative options, which can include things like anti-inflammatory medications, physical therapy with a home exercise regimen, cortisone or steroid injections to reduce inflammation and pain. We're also doing uh, some newer techniques such as PRP or platelet-rich plasma, which basically involves using a patient's own blood to help stimulate a healing response. And finally, you know, if those options fail, we'll oftentimes consider surgery in order to correct the pathology that's present. When it sounds like ultimately surgery is a, a last result, I'm, I'm interested though in the, in the platelet uh, technology. Talk about the advancements in that and the results that you've seen. Yeah, so basically it's something that you may have heard you know some famous athletes getting for, to treat their injuries and that's a, a great option for patients who maybe have tendonitis or inflammation of a tendon or they perhaps have a small tear and it's not at the level that we might consider surgery or they're trying to avoid surgery at all costs this is a, a conservative option that can in many cases give them great results well bottom line i know some people uh, may be intimidated when it comes to things like shoulder injuries but it sounds like you're, uh, they're in good hands. There's plenty of options there. Absolutely, and we're here at Memorial Healthcare to talk about all of them with our patients. Oh, wonderful. We really do appreciate uh, your insight and for filling us in today. For more information about the Memorial Healthcare Center for Orthopedics, you can visit the website, memorialhealthcare.org, or you can call that number that you see there on your screen, 989-541-BONE. That's 989-541-2663. Thank you so much. Thanks.